Partick Thistle tomorrow, potential title rivals. Looking forward to this one. Yeah, it's uh you know it's, it's a big game as all the games are just now. Um, you know, probably repeating myself, but you know we take it one game at a time. And um, you know after last week's result, you know we're looking forward to it. Um, it's a big game. You know, party haven't they? Had the start they probably wanted to, but you know they'll be looking to try and put that right. So we've got to be ready for a, a big performance. So you have the chance to go seven points clear of them only three weeks into the season. Is that a bit of incentive? It's it's always incentive to get the three points. You know, I think that's the most important thing. Know that know that how far we're going in front of the Partick. You know, obviously Cove are still sitting in front of us, and that's probably more of an incentive to try and get in front of them. Um, you know, but we look after our own our own position. Um, you know, making sure that we get that three points, and then you know we'll see how other results go after that. But you know, the main thing, as I said, is taking points from last week's performance, and um, last week's result, and going to you know take that into Saturday's game. How is the squad looking going into this game? And have you had a an opportunity to to see any of Party Thistle's games? Yeah, but obviously we. we you know, we get our analysis done on party anyway, um, so we've went over that and we've done uh, some preparation and training towards their strengths and weaknesses. And you know, as I say, the boys are boys are ready to go um, and looking forward to it. So, no, it'll be a good game. And after all the little niggly injuries from being out for so long, is it good to have a, a break after Tuesday and start the game on Saturday? Yeah, obviously there, there will be a bit of a break, but you know, there's there's two or three who are still needing minutes. In the in the legs, you know, game minutes. So we'll be looking to uh, probably arrange, you know, some form of game for them as well. Um, yeah, it's, it's you know, some people look at it as an opportunity to have a, a break. And yes, you know, there has been a lot of games for a few, so they'll they'll possibly get a break in some sense of you know not getting more minutes in the legs. Um, but at the same time, you know, it's massively important that we just we actually kind of push on a wee bit rather than try to relax. And just finally. Um, how close are we to seeing Keenan and Connolly back in the team again? Yeah, so the both of them are progressing well. Um, Aidan's actually, Aidan Connolly, sorry, is actually getting involved in a wee bit of training, just uh, light touches and stuff like that. But um, you know, we'll see how he goes over the next week or so. Um, Aidan Keenan is progressing well. Hopefully, we'll get him back on the pitch doing some running and stuff like that next week. So again, that will be a positive. Um, yeah, and then obviously we're we're just about there with our full numbers, so I'll be good.